In the next five minutes, I'd like to show you how Magnolia can power any e-commerce scenario with its built-in features and integration capabilities for third-party services or systems. First, Magnolia lets you create powerful campaigns and personalize them for your end users. In a multi-language, multi-country scenario, you don't want to create campaigns and place them manually, but instead, plan and create them ahead and see how they will be delivered to your customers. All current campaigns can be found in the Campaign Manager app. A campaign is defined by a name, a start date, and an end date. Now we can create any kind of element that we want to automatically roll out across touch points that take advantage of the campaign. If we look at it, then we see the name of the element, the template that will be used for the campaign, and this tag here, that's the secret sauce of campaign management with Magnolia. This tag defines in what slots your campaign is distributed. Be it simple like this one that just has one banner element, or more complex, any campaign can be managed directly inside the campaign manager, including design control. This is what the page looks like today. For previewing, you can pick a date in the future and see how it presents then. For personalization, Magnolia has powerful tools to create both segments and personas to preview experiences based on the timeline and based on the actionable personalized data. Magnolia provides a variety of standard traits that define which segment a request needs to be mapped to. You can also integrate external systems like CRM, MATs, to improve personalization quality. With our user journey scoring, you can essentially create scoring models which indicate a user's interest in a certain topic. Let's say here in our demo fashion story, someone has a high interest in female fashion. We'll set a score threshold to 400 points as an indicator of the degree of interest we'll listen for to trigger personalization. Next, we need a persona. Personas in Magnolia carry a name, a description, and allow you to fill out the details marketers need to align their efforts toward a sensible target of a persona. Here, we can attach traits. In this case, the persona is from the United States and is a returning visitor. Let's try adapting these to our persona, Sarah. She browsed pages for a few minutes and looked at female fashion. We'll use the user journey scoring trait, set female fashion, and that she has reached a score threshold of 400 points. In this case, each time our persona clicks on an element tagged with female fashion, three points will be given. Let's now put this into action and go back to our landing page in the Edward shop. Because we've now visited a lot of pages tagged with female fashion, chances are that this product will not convert well. Let's deliver something meaningful in that spot instead. For this particular product teaser, we're going to create a variant. You'll simply just want to click Add Component Variant, and now we can inject a more meaningful variant to match the interest of our user. From here, we can jump into our tightly integrated commerce platform. It's external data, but your marketer won't notice due to the seamless and performant integration. Having chosen the dress for the component variant, we'll choose a matching audience. We're picking just a single trait to make this new variant visible. If a user has an interest in female fashion and has an interest rate of 400 points, then this variant will be delivered. Let's preview this page again as a visitor. This is what an anonymous visitor would see. Now we'll look at the particular interest through the user journey scoring and go with the interest of female fashion and a threshold of, say, 600 points. Then you can see how an irrelevant teaser image suddenly starts matching user interest. Let's mix that with our previewing of future campaigns. Pick a future date, and you will see the corresponding campaign in combination with a personalized product teaser. Here's a full fashion store with a range of categorized products that stem from an integrated catalog. We can see the data from the external commerce platform instantaneously via a REST service. On the right, you can see analytics data deeply integrated from an outside system. 
Every product that's able to expose analytics data can be fed into the Magnolia user experience and coupled tightly with your content in order to inform content authors of data around performance trends or stock volume. Going back to user journey scoring for a second, we can now apply a scoring model directly on the product from the e-commerce platform to help match audience interests to tagged content and assets. And from now on, every single time this product is placed anywhere, no matter whether that's a catalog or a special landing page, it will be tracked by Magnolia.